Hey guys. So I have here a light form. I got the LFC kit. Um, since I already do have a projector that I use at home. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna unbox it. I've already uh, cut up the tape because I didn't want to struggle with that. But when you open it up, um, you have the box here with the URL that takes you to all the information on how to set it up. And then uh, there's three pieces to the kit. Uh, the first piece I'm going to show you is the Brio 4K uh, webcam. Then we have um, the actual LFC light farm computer. And then in here we have uh, the uh, mounts uh, to mount the LFC to your projector. Also, wires, um, USB-C and HDMI. Uh, those are in the box, don't forget those. So the Logitech um, 4K webcam, camera, webcam, camera. Um, there's a little bag to keep it in, which is nice. <laughs> the Light Farm uh, LFC computer. And then you have instructions that come along with it, um, as well as this poster that you can use to test map, um, which is cool. Um, from the artist Gemma O'Brien, she's a lettering artist. Uh, so yeah, that is everything. I just need to figure out how to set it up. Um, but yeah, I've been super excited and been wanting to try the light form for a really long time because it makes it incredibly quick and easy to set up and it does a really great job at um, mapping out smaller details that can be really hard, um, that can be a lot more difficult to do. Um, so I'm used to using uh, programs like Resolume, Mad Mapper, and Touch Design. With those kind of programs, you have to uh, create your own visuals or purchase loops from other artists. Uh, so what I really like about this is it's just it comes with um, visuals that you can use to create uh, the content for your projection mapping. So this would have come in so handy. Um, when I was doing these events at a restaurant um, that would then uh, turn into more like a DJ night scene and I did some projection mapping there so I would set up these cubes um, that I, I built with some foam board and then map them out using Resolu but because it was under such a quick time constraint of having to do it with like under an hour um, this would have made it so much easier because uh, essentially what this does is it scans the environment, creates a mesh out of what it's scanned, and then it then uses your projector to project the light and visuals onto that mesh. Uh, yeah. So let's put it together. Um, okay, so setup is actually really easy for the light form. Um, yeah, so it's it's I'll kind of run you through how it gets set up. It comes with this camera, and it also has this base attached to it when you when you open up the box. Um, so you're gonna have to take this base off, and it says on the website that it will feel like you're going to break it, and it 100% does. Even after reading that, I was like, I'm for sure gonna break this, but it does come off, and it doesn't break. Um, yeah, you need to take that off in order to put this case over it, which then allows you to place, I don't know what it's called, a pin inside and screw it on so it stays in place. So you have the, the camera there. 
The other piece that you have is the actual um, light form computer. So it also comes with, it also comes with the case um, or a mount. I'm not gonna put it on for this for right now. Um, it also comes with these stickers that you can place onto your projector. Um, so that way it doesn't move, but these are like really adhesive. So it does recommend to, you know, tape it with, I don't know, some duct tape or something first before you commit to where it's going to be placed. Um, I'm not going to do that for now. I'm just going to place it onto this little stand that I have. Yeah, so it's, it's incredibly simple. You can put the Lightform computer um, on top of the projector, uh, put the HDMI cable um, into the light form and then into your projector. And then you also have a power cord for your light form. So you're going to want to plug that in too. And then for the camera, you're going to want to place it um, above where the projector lens is. And you have this USB-C cord that you're going to plug in to the camera and then into the back of the light form. The light form is attached to the projector. It's not attached to your computer. Um, so you can actually hook up your computer to the Wi-Fi for the light form, or you can connect it to a router with an ethernet cable. There's instructions on how to do that on the website. It's, it's uh, really easy. Yeah, so once you have it all hooked up, you're gonna wanna make sure that you um, download the light form creator there's a link to it on their website. Yeah. So the URL is provided on top of the box uh, that the light form comes in and you just go to that and it gives you all the instructions on how to set it up and where to download the light form creator. Um, there's a version for both Mac and Windows. I'm just gonna use my, my Mac laptop for this. Um, yeah, so I'm going to open up my laptop and then yeah all right so i just pushed the projector off to the side a little bit and got the artwork that was provided with the light form and i turned on my projector which is already hooked up to the light form um so it, it automatically shows this test screen with the purple border which shows that it's ready to be paired um so what you're going to want to do is open up the light form app that you've downloaded onto your computer. And since I'm not going to be connecting directly to Ethernet, I'm doing it by Wi-Fi. Um, I just go, I just go into my Wi-Fi settings and I just locate um, what's called the Lightform Fuzzy Fuga, which is the same name up there. and then enter in the password uh, light form. So it's the same password for um, every light form that you, you can get. When you open up the light form software, I'm just gonna give you a few options. I'm going to select new project. I'm going to select where I want to save that new project and hit create. And I'm going to just select the Fuzzy Fuga and hit continue in order to pair, in order to pair it with the light form. Um, so yeah, so you're just gonna be seeing a screen like this. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is hit scan.
then we'll see the image of the scanned mesh that it just created for you, which is so cool. And then um, it's so easy and so intuitive to just create something really quickly. Um, I'm going to do like a, a tutorial, like a screen share thing where I go through the, the actual Lightform creator and how to use it. Um, I'm going to see about um, bringing in my own visuals that I create and using that with the platform. But for now, you don't need anything. You just, yeah, so this is how easy it is. And I don't know if you can see um, right now, but I'm gonna go through that in a separate video. Um, probably do like a screen share so you can actually see what I'm doing. But all I did was grab the magic brush tool. Yeah, so all I'm gonna do is I'm just grabbing the magic brush tool and I'm just selecting parts of the flower in the flower. So simple. We'll do um, a couple quick pieces here just to show you how easy it is. So once you've selected um, a few parts on the image that you want to be uh, part of that surface layer that you want to project on all together, um, you'll create surface. And then once that's done, you can then go to the asset browser and just hit insert content and hit preview and it's, and it's up. It's so easy and so cool. <laughs> and this took no time at all. I just clicked a few spots on a scan that it already created for me. So I didn't have to like, map anything out and you can get way more technical with it um, and be way more precise with the pen tool um, or just painting with the paintbrush but you have that choice like you don't have to spend a lot of time if you don't want to you can get something up so fast um, yeah and i was playing around with a plant in my living room and I, I would never be able to do that before i'm sure i could figure out a way to do it like touch designer or something but that's way too technical for me um but yeah it's, it's really you can um there's blend modes so you can blend more than one effect on top of each other you can add multiple layers um so you can play different uh, effects on different pieces of say this image so i could you know, paint in the letters and add a different effect onto that. And they have tons of uh, like built in videos and assets that you can use, which is really cool. Um, I'm definitely going to be exploring more on bringing in my own visuals, um, but that's for another time. But yeah, um, so easy. I really love how this tool makes um, projection mapping so accessible because when I first started it just seemed like this magical thing that no one really shared much information about and it just looked way more complicated than it really is it's actually so simple I mean you can you can get really technical with it especially with with um, certain programs uh, like touch designer um, but yeah, something like this, I don't know, it's just, it's so cool. <laughs> uh, it makes me so excited, like, yeah. Uh, yeah, so rather than kind of filling this out, um, I just wanted to get something up and running super quick. Uh, just for like a test, I'm going to show you how to. I'm gonna, I'm gonna show what I did when I first started getting into projection mapping, was which was tape mapping. So, so I, I got into projection mapping by by doing tape mapping. So I put shapes up on the wall with tape. I, I projection mapped inside, and that was how I uh, got started. Before I started. Um, building shapes with foam board. Like those are two really accessible and easy ways to get started. Um, low cost and you can do it at home. So in the next video that I do, I'm gonna put some
some motif up on the wall, um, with some shapes, and uh, projection magnet with the light on the side of the wall.